Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. Today we'll learn how to solve problems related to percentages based on salary. Being thorough with the concept and formula of percentages will make solving these problems easier. Please watch our video on percentages for all the details. Since questions based on these topics are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Mary invests rupees 72,318, which is 17% of her annual income in mutual funds. What is her monthly income? So we have to find Mary's monthly income here. So let's let the monthly income of Mary be M. So her annual income will be 12 M. Now it's given that Mary invests 72,318 rupees, which is 17% of her annual income. So 17% of our annual income is equal to 72,318. This means 17 divided by 100 multiplied by uh, 12M is equal to 72,318. On cross multiplication, we get M is equal to 72,318 multiplied by 100 divided by 17 multiplied by 12. On solving, we get M is equal to 35,450. So Mary's monthly income is 35,450 rupees. Suresh's salary is increased by 5% this year. If his present salary is rupees 1,806, what was his salary last year? So we have to find Suresh's last year's salary. Let his last year's salary be 100 rupees. His salary is increased by 5%. So his present salary is 105 rupees. But it's given that his present salary is 1806 rupees. So if the present salary is 105 rupees, then last year's salary was 100 rupees. So if his pre uh, present salary is 1806 rupees, then his last year's salary is, is uh, 1,806 multiplied by 100 divided by 105. On solving this, we get uh, Suresh's last, sal uh, last year's salary as 1,720 rupees. A and B salaries together amount to rupees 20,000. A spends 95% of his salary and B spends 85% of his salary. If now their savings are the same, what is A's salary? Here we do not know what is A's salary or what is B's salary. So let's assume that A's salary is A and B's salary is B. It's given that A spends 95% of his salary. This means uh, he saves 5% of his salary. It's also given that B spends 85% of his salary. This means B saves 15% of his salary. It's given that their savings are the same. So 5% of A is equal to 15% of B. This means 5 divided by 100 multiplied by A is equal to 15 divided by 100 multiplied by B. On solving, we get A is equal to 3B. It's given that A and B salaries together amount to 20,000 rupees. So A plus B is equal to 20,000. We know that A is equal to 3B. So 3B plus B is equal to 20,000, which is 4B is equal to 20,000. On solving, we get B is equal to 5,000. 
we know that A is equal to 3B. So if B is 5,000, then A is rupees 15,000. So A's salary is 15,000 rupees. Vikas spent 14% of his income on electricity bills, 28% on rent, and 18% on shopping. One fourth of the remaining amount is rupees 5,125. How much did he spend on the electricity bill? So to find how much he spent on electricity bill, first we have to find out what is Vikas's income. So let Vikas's income be M. It's given that he spent 14% of his income on electricity bills, 28% on rent and 18% on shopping. So he spent 14% plus 28% plus 18% of his income. 14% plus 28% plus 18% plus 18% is 60%. His income is M. So he spent 60% of his income, 60% of M. If he spent 60% of M, then the remaining amount is 40% of M. It's given that one fourth of the remaining amount is rupees 5125. So 1 by 4 multiplied by 40% of M is 5125. This is nothing but 10% of M is equal to 5125. This can be written as 10 divided by 100 multiplied by M is equal to 5125. On cross multiplication, we get M is equal to 5125 multiplied by 100 divided by 10. On solving, we get M is equal to 51,250. So, Vikas's income is 51,250. It's given that he spends 14% of his income on electricity bill. So he spends 14% of 51,250 on electricity bills. This can be written as 14 divided by 100 multiplied by 51,250. On solving, we get 7,175. So he spent 7,175 rupees on electricity bill. Mr. Keshavan gave 40% of the money he had to his wife. He also gave 20% of the remaining amount to each of his three sons. Half of the amount now left was spent on miscellaneous items and the remaining amount of rupees 12,000 was deposited in the bank. How much money did Mr. Keshavan have initially? So we have to find out how much money Mr. Keshavan had initially. So let the initial amount be M. It's given that he gave 40% of uh, the money he had to his wife. So he gave 40% of M to his wife. So the remaining amount now is M minus 40% of M, which is 60% of M. The remaining amount is 60% of M. He, it's also given that he gave 20% of the remaining amount to each of his three sons. So the sons get 60% of 60% of M. This can be written as 60 divided by 100 multiplied by 60% of M, which on solving gives us 36% of M. So the three sons got 36% of M. We know that the remaining amount was 60% of M and the sons got 36% of M. So after uh, giving the amount to the sons, the remaining amount now is 60% of M minus 36% of M, which is 24% of M. It's given that half of the amount now left was spent on miscellaneous items and the remaining amount of rupees 12,000 was deposited in the bank. So half of 12% of M is, half of 24% of M is 12% of M. 
the remaining amount was 24% of M. So half of 24% of M is 12% of M. 12% of M he spent on miscellaneous items. The remaining 12% of M which is equal to 12,000 rupees was deposited in the bank. So 12% of M is equal to 12,000 which means 12 divided by 100 multiplied by M is equal to 12,000. On cross multiplication, we get M is equal to 12,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 12. And on solving, we get M is equal to 1 lakh. So Mr. Keshavan had rupees 1 lakh initially. The monthly income of a person was rupees 13,500 and his monthly expenditure was rupees 9,000. Next year, his income increased by 14% and his expenditure increased by 7%. What was the percent increase in his savings? So it's given that the monthly income is 13,500 rupees. Monthly expenditure is 9,000 rupees. So original savings is equal to 13,500 minus 9,000 which is 4,500 rupees. Now it's given that next year his inc income increased by 14%. We know that the monthly income was 13,500 rupees. So after the increase of 14%, the new income will be 114% of uh, 13,500, which is 15,390 rupees. It's also given that his expenditure increased by 7%. We know that his monthly expenditure was 9,000. So after an expenditure increase of 7%, the new expenditure is 107% of 9,000, which is 9,630 rupees. So new income is 15,390. New expenditure is 9,630. So new savings is 15,390 minus 9,630 which is 5,760 rupees. So original savings was 4,500 rupees. New savings is 5,760 rupees. Now we are asked to find the percent increase in his savings. So percentage increase in savings can be found out using the formula new savings minus old savings divided by old savings multiplied by 100. Substituting the value of new savings and old savings in the formula, we get 5760 minus 4500 divided by 4500 multiplied by 100. 5760 minus 4500 is 1260. So now we have 1260 divided by 4500 multiplied by 100, which on solving gives us 28%. So the percentage increase in savings is 28%. A man spends 35% of his income on food, 25% on children's education and 80% of the remaining on house rent. What percent of his income is he left with? So we are asked to find what percent of his income he is left with. But we do not know what his income is. So let the income be T. It's given that he spends 35% of his income on food and 25% on children's education. So 35% plus 25% is 60%. So totally he spends 60% of T, which is 60% multiplied by T. Now, after his expenditure, the remaining amount is T minus uh, 60 T by 100 which is 40t by 100. So the remaining amount is 40t by 100. It's given that he spends 80% of the remaining amount on house rent. So 
80 divided by 100 multiplied by 40 t divided by 100 is equal to 8 t divided by 25. So he spends 8 t by 25 on house rent. After spending 8 t by 25 on house rent, the remaining amount is 40 t divided by 100 minus 8 t divided by 25 which is 8 t divided by 100. So the remaining amount is 8 t by 100. 8 t by 100 is nothing but 8 percent of t. So he is left with 8 percent of his income. Ganesh spends 30 percent of his monthly income on food articles, 40 percent of the remaining on conveyance and clothes and saves 50 percent of the remaining. If his monthly salary is rupees 18,400, how much money does he save every month? Now it's given that the monthly salary is 18,400 rupees. Out of which Ganesh spends 30% of his monthly income on uh, food articles. This means 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 18,400 which is 5,520 rupees. So he spends 5,520 rupees on food articles. Now the remaining amount is 18,400 minus 5,520 which is 12,880. It's given that he spends 40% of the remaining amount on conveyance and clothes. The remaining amount is 12,880. He spends 40% of the remaining amount on conveyance and clothes. This means 40 divided by 100 multiplied by 12,880 which is 5,152 rupees. So he spends 5,152 rupees on conveyance and clothes. Now the remaining amount is 12,880 minus 5,152 which is 7,728 rupees. So the final remaining amount is um, 7,728 rupees. It's given that he saves 50% of the remaining. So 50% of 7,728 is 3,864. So Ganesh saves 3,864 rupees every month. Ram's salary was decreased by 50% and subsequently increased by 50%. How much percent does he lose or gain? So here we have to find the net change in Ram salary. If we find out the net change, then we'll know whether uh, there is a percent loss or percent gain for Ram. So to find the net change, use the formula A plus B plus AB by 100%. Here A is minus 50%. The negative sign is used because there is a decrease in the salary. B is 50%. So substituting the value of A and B in the formula we get net change is equal to minus 50 plus 50 minus 2500 by 100%. On solving this we get minus 25%. So net change is minus 25%. Since there is a negative sign in the answer, it means that Ram loses 25%. The salary of Mr. P is 30% more than that of Mr. Q. Find what percent of Mr. Q's salary is less than Mr. P's. Now, we do not know what is the salary of Mr. Q. So, let Q's salary be 100 rupees. Then the salary of P is 30% more than that of Q. So if Q's salary is 100 rupees, then P's salary will be 130 rupees. Now we are asked to find what percent of Q's salary is less than P's salary. We know that 
A is how much percent less than B can be found out using the formula B minus A upon B multiplied by 100. Here we have to find out uh, Q, Q salary is how much percent less than P salary. So here A is Q salary and B is P salary. So the required percentage is 130 minus 100 divided by 130 multiplied by 100. On solving we get 300 divided by 13 which is nothing but 23 1 by 13 percent. So Q salary is 23 1 by 13 percent less than P salary. A earns 50% of B salary, B earns 80% of C salary. If the total earnings for a month is 22,000 rupees, then what is the earning for A? Now, here we do not know C's salary. So, uh, let's assume that C's salary is rupees C. Now, it's given B earns 80% of C salary. So 80% of C is 80C upon 100. So B salary is 80C by 100. Now A earns 50% of B salary. So A salary is 50 by 100 multiplied by 80C uh, by 100 which is nothing but 40C by 100. So A salary is 40C by 100. B salary is 80C by 100 and C salary is C. Now it's given that the total earnings in a month is 22,000 rupees. So 40C by 100 plus 80C by 100 plus C is equal to 22,000. On solving we get 220C by 100 is equal to 22,000. On cross multiplication we get C is equal to 22,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 220. On solving, we get C is equal to 10,000. Now we are asked to find the earnings of A. So uh, we know that A's salary is 40C by 100. We know that A's salary is 40C by 100. Now we have found out that C is 10,000. So substituting the value of C here, we get 40 multiplied by 10,000 divided by 100 which is nothing but 4,000. So A salary is 4,000 rupees. Lakshman started working two years ago. His starting salary was half of Kiran's salary at that time. Each year since then, Lakshman and Kiran have received a raise of 10% in their respective salaries. What percentage to the nearest percent of Kiran's current salary is Lakshman's current salary? So we are asked to find what percentage of Kiran's current salary is Lakshman's current salary. To do that first we have to find out Kiran's current salary and Lakshman's current salary. But to do that we have to first find out uh, what was their salary two years ago because Lakshman started working two years ago. Now it's given Lakshman's starting salary was half of Kiran's salary uh, two years ago. But we do not know what is Kiran's salary at that time. So let the salary of Kiran two years ago be 100 rupees. So Lakshman's salary two years ago was half of Kiran's salary which is 50 rupees. Now it's given that each year since then, Lakshman and Kiran have received a raise of 10% in their salaries. So in two years, Kiran's and Lakshman's salaries have seen two 10% increases. So Kiran's uh, salary was 100 rupees and in the first year, he got a 10% increase on this 100 rupees. So Kiran's salary one year ago is 110 by 100 multiplied by 100 which is 110 rupees. Now in the next year Kiran uh, got a 10% raise on 110 rupees. 
So Kiran's present salary is 110 by 100 multiplied by 110, which is 121 rupees. So Kiran's present salary is 121 rupees. Similarly, uh, Lakshman's salary was 50 rupees. So in the first year, he got a raise of 10% on that 50 rupees. So Lakshman's salary one year ago was 110 by 100 multiplied by 50, which is 55 rupees. Now in the next year, Lakshman got a 10% raise on this 55 rupees. So Lakshman's present salary is 110 by 100 multiplied by 55, which is 60.5 rupees. So Kiran's present salary is 121 rupees and Lakshman's present salary is 60.5 rupees. So Lakshman's present salary of 60.5 rupees is 50% of Kiran's present salary of 121 rupees. Viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Solve more percentage problems based on salary to understand the concept clearly. Watch our video on miscellaneous solved problems on percentages. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.